pursue his own deals, became the chairman of another company. He went on a nice vacation with his family. And once he became a little bit less dependent on this, you know, less enmeshed in this conflict, then we had more room. And like in, from the time I met the, uh, the counterpart, my, my colleague David Lax and I met the counterpart in Paris uh, in, uh, uh, in Paris, in, 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 we met him on a Monday. By Friday, we had both men in a law office Amazing. signing an agreement, making a, a press conference. Amazing. And the thing is, they were treating each other, it was based on two principles, freedom and dignity. Hmm. And they were both, and the thing is, it wasn't just a kind of a split difference, compromise, you know, kind of like this. They both were really highly satisfied. And Emilio hmm. said, you know what? The most important thing is I got my life back. Amazing. I got my freedom. It's, it, it's I mean, it's, the sort of the pejorative title of the book is sort of not being the victim anymore. Right. It's, you know, it's this mind shift of going from this person is hurting me or this person is responsible for my happiness or preventing me from being happy or getting whatever I want. And rather, it sounds like accountability. That's it. That's it. That's, That's it. hard. That is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier to just blame somebody. <laughs> it is easy. It's easy to blame. But the thing is, it's maybe, it may be, you know, psychologically a little more satisfying to blame yeah. another person. But the more effective way, yeah. if you really want to get the things you want in life, what are truly important, if you want to get your own freedom, yeah. if you want to get what, what's truly important in your life, this, this it's is, like, it's this like is coming, the way. It's, like coming, it's not easy. It's, like coming to it's the simple, but not easy. Right. It's like coming to the uncomfortable conclusion that the only common factor in all my failed relationships is me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, exactly. You know, in other words, first time, second time, third I'd time. I like to blame them. But, yeah. It always seems to be that. It's, it's always, always them. It's here. It's here. And, and I mean, that's the thing. I, because my, my life passion is, you know, helping people get to yes. And I realize, wait a minute, there is a missing piece. It's almost like we've been negotiating all our lives with one arm tied behind our mm, back. Mm. So we've just been focused on the outer, you know, on the other side, and what, on how we influence the other side. And we, we, we forgot about how do we influence ourselves. Mm. And if we can influence ourselves, then we can influence the other side. I, I and mean, the other thing is if we influence ourselves, we, we can give ourselves a, a kind of degree of satisfaction that whether or not we reach agreement with the other side, in some sense, it doesn't even it's matter. It's secondary. Because it starts with inner satisfaction. Mm. It moves to outer satisfaction. It moves back to inner satisfaction. Because we're always focused on... When we blame the other side, we're also looking to them to satisfy us. Mm. And I, I mean, as human beings, we can't, we, can't, we can't help ourselves. I mean, we're always making comparisons. You know, um, for example, there's this um, wonderful study that was done where they offered someone a, 400, 000, a free $400,000 house on a block where all the other houses are $100,000. Right. Or right. a free million-dollar house on a block where all the other houses are $4 million. And more people chose the four hundred thousand dollar house. Right. Like we can't help ourselves, you know, the way right. we we judge our status in the hierarchy. We right. Can't help, we, we're constantly comparing and denying ourselves right. something right. better so that we can feel right. like we've won yeah. versus someone else. Right. As opposed to waking up in the morning and be like, I have a million dollar house that I just got for free. Right.